talk uh, portion of your day, right? Yeah. You want oh, yeah. the sun to be out a little bit. Definitely. It's a cold start in the 20s for most of us. A few low 30s out there, but overall not the best temperature forecast to be out there doing uh, the dog walk this morning. We are tracking possibly a few flurries this morning, and this will last to about 8 a.m. The chance for those, as you can see, just some very light returns at times on radar, but there is some very dry air at the surface. So a lot of this may not even be making it down towards the surface, and it also appears that we could be getting a few uh, just bad scans in there as far as radar data coming in this morning. But flurries are possible. National Weather Service in Peachtree City has issued a special weather statement for the potential of that for some of the western and northern counties under their jurisdiction, uh, as well as the potential for a few patchy uh, areas of black ice as well. Current temperatures around the area, though, again, low to mid 20s, upper 20s and low 30s, where there has been more cloud cover overnight. Overall, though, most of us below freezing and it is another cold start for your Tuesday morning. As far as the forecast for today, outdoors, not only along the Augusta Canal, but uh, around the area in general, it's going to be a cool afternoon to even chilly with those temperatures only in the upper 40s to low 50s. So the jacket still will be needed if you have any outdoor plans. Low temperatures for tonight take a dive once again back into that hard freeze threshold for most of us. So below 28 degrees for most of us by tomorrow morning. And that is because we do still have this very pronounced dip across our area, promoting those below average temperatures for highs and lows. But as we head towards the middle and especially by the end of the week, we begin to replace that with a ridge, which means more warmer air working in for us at, at the surface. But it'll, it'll also be driving uh, down a front for us this weekend as we see that next area or that next trough begin to approach us as we head into the holiday weekend, which means rainfall for us as well. So we're looking at those rainfall totals possibly ranging in between about one to two inches, uh, but there is a little bit of disagreement between the European and American model with the amount of rainfall we could see. But Saturday, New Year's Eve, there are going to be morning and afternoon and evening rain chances as well as we head into Sunday. That's when those rain chances do begin to slowly end for us. But as I mentioned, just some differences in the terms of uh, how much rainfall we could see and also the timing of when that rainfall does move out. But as of now, Saturday is looking like the most uh, soggiest day for us out of the next seven. So temperatures do warm up towards the upper 60s to near 70 by Saturday, Sunday, but still some cold mornings ahead from Wednesday and Thursday. Thank you, Mikhail.